Y'all been begging and 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 begging for my everyday makeup routine. So here it is. Watch the video and you'll get it in the video. Hi, my name is Shallon. I, if you're not new here and you're like, why are you telling us your name? That's because I feel like no one knows it. <laughs> Whenever people meet me, they'll be like, I followed you for like six years. How do you say your name though? And that happens a lot. So I'm starting to wonder if no one knows how to say my name. It's Shallon. It's just Shallon. You act like the C is an S and you spell it C-H-A-L-L-A-N, but you pretend it's S-H-A-L-L-A-N. That's how you say it, okay, that's it. And if you're new here, my name is Shallon and I'm gonna show you my everyday makeup routine because I get that question a lot and I never do it. So let's do it now. Ooh, that was hair in my mouth, okay. I've already moisturized. I'm gonna show you what I've been moisturizing with lately, but what I actually like to moisturize with because they're different. Not saying I don't like what I'm moisturizing with now. I'm just still figuring out if I like it. I think I do, but I've only been using I've only been using it for a couple of days, so I don't have much to say yet besides it's pretty um, hydrating. But this product I have been, I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm like talking about it. Okay, right now I'm using the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. They sent this to me maybe a week ago and I really like it so far. I just don't, ha like I said, I just don't have much to say because I think you can properly review a product, especially skincare when you've been using it for a while. And it's really only been a couple of days. So I'd say for now, I like it, it's cool. I think it's pretty intense hydrating. That's really what I need from skincare. And the reason I'm talking about skincare in the first place for an everyday makeup routine is because it took me years to realize how important your skincare is to your makeup. I thought for a long time that how you did your makeup made the difference. Obviously it does but your skincare makes a lot of that difference as well um i personally struggle with not struggle because it's not a disease but i have smile line creasing and under eye creasing the under eye creasing isn't as bad but the smile line creasing is pretty consistent and i use pretty high intensity hydration products to help alleviate that because i'm going to be honest with you because i feel like no one was honest with me when i was asking all the questions about smile lines there's nothing you can do about smile lines you can't do you can't remove smile lines they're a part of your face with how you do your makeup they're going to show through your makeup at some point in some way because the only way you can fix smile lines is to get filler. I don't want to get filler. I'm not going to promote you getting filler. If you want to get filler, that's up to you. I don't like that's up to you. I don't want to also because I've heard it's not even permanent. So I'm not going to go do something, feel good about it and I have to keep doing it. I don't want to do that. So I'm good with just doing what I can to alleviate it as much as possible with skincare. On the In the same breath, smile lines are not ugly. Like they don't look bad. It just shows people that you smile and ours just stay a little longer. Um, I just feel like smile lines through makeup. I feel like it looks like my makeup is cracking. I have smile lines all the time. So like right now I have them. I don't know if you can see them when I stop smiling. I have them all the time because they're a part of my face. I don't really mind how they look now because it just looks like Looks like a small crease, exactly what it is. But I feel like it looks different in makeup, so I try to alleviate it as much as possible with makeup. That's I said a lot to say that. So this is this is what I've been using lately. Usually, what I really like is this Lancome Renage. I think it's Renage. It's like a combination a cream and a serum. I do the cream first, then the serum after. I'm pretty used to these, and I really like how hydrated I feel when I put them on. But I also want to try other things out, so I use other things in between to see. You know, you never know what works better. I also like the Naturium Multipeptide Eye Cream and their face cream. This is from Topicals. Oh. This is from Topicals, it's like $3, and I use this for my toothpaste, I use this for anything. Bro. And I've also really liked the Vegan Milk Moisturizer. It looks like this, it's by Milk Makeup. Very, very hydrating. And I've had this little Bobbi Brown eye cream for years now. I love this thing. It's expensive, so I do grab literal molecules of this bitch when I use it because I'm gonna get my money's worth, okay? And then sunscreen. Hey, focus please. I'm gonna be so real with you. I like this one by Naterium, but I, I'm gonna talk to the black girls here. I don't know if it was just me. I know it wasn't just me, but I thought for so long black people did not need sunscreen. I was like, what am I gonna put that on for? Like that's that's fake news. You need sunscreen, bro. Don't don't play around with the sun. The sun will let you know about yourself. I'm not even li like, I'm not smiling anymore. Like put on, put on sunscreen. So we're gonna put on sunscreen, even though I'm not going outside just to, just cause I'm gonna be, I wanna be an example to you guys. Okay? I'm gonna be an example. I'm gonna put on the sunscreen. I'm gonna shake it up. No Zendaya. And then I know you're supposed to do like two full fingers. No, that's the most you can get out of this runny ass sunscreen. I'm gonna put this on and I'll be back. I don't know why I left to do that, but just saturate it everywhere. Get it on my neck. Don't put it on your eyes like I just did. I know better than to put sunscreen around my eyes. A lot of sunscreens will start burning when you put them near your eyes, but hey, it's too late now. And I like to pat it in at the end. 
Now you need to give products time to work. So I just put this on. I'm gonna give it like five to 10 minutes before I actually start to do my makeup and then we'll be back. While I'm away, I'm gonna wet my beauty blender. I literally wanna show you how small this is now versus how big it's gonna get. Okay, BRB. Am I tripping or is it huge now? Am I delusional? Maybe. Okay, I'm back. It's been like seven minutes since I was here last. For the last couple of days, I've been trying these indeed. I think they're under eye patches. They say they target fine lines, puffiness and dark circles. So the, I've been using them on my smile lines. I'm not sure if they're working yet. I wanna try today, but I really wanna keep today as consistent as my usual routine is. The only thing that will be different is the belief that I used. The foundation that we're gonna use today is the Lancome Ton Idol Foundation. This is the foundation that I live, breathe, and love. I've been using this a lot and I feel like it just sits the best with everything else that I use. An alternative is the Revlon Color Stay. I really, really, really like this as well. I just don't have the right shade in it. And I don't have the right shade in this either, but this is easier to get to. I, I can look a little gray in this one because I just kind of struggle to find the color balance. This one I feel like I can find easier, so I just kind of reach for it first. <laughs> I'm in shade 410 neutral. It looks like this. Ignoring the FaceTime till I'm done. <laughs> now it has been an hour. The phone call got a little long. I did drop my beauty blender on the floor so I had to get a different one, but look how squishy it is. They're from the creme shop. I love their beauty blenders. They're sponges, the beauty sponges. For foundation, I've already told you we're gonna use the Lancome Ton Idol. However, like I said, this is not my shade, so I have to make it. To do that, I'm gonna use the concealer I actually use to do my makeup, which is the MAC 24 Hours Concealer. This is the shade, I think it's like NC, NC38. And I just get a little bit of that twisted around right there, just to get a little out. I love the formula of this concealer. I just feel like it meshes with any concealer I use. It feels lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy. I don't know, the shade doesn't even seem that similar to me, but it just always blends, I don't know. Then I take the, con the the foundation. I do like a pump and a half. It's like that much. It's good. I take any, you can use like any bronzing something. You don't have to do this, but this is how I, I notice small lines are less visible. If your foundation's a little darker than your face. So I just make it a little bit darker with this concealer. I think it's a concealer. I have no idea. Then I have my mixing pigments from LA Colors. I have the blue and the yellow. The yellow just to go ahead and add some gold tones in there. Cause it's usually really warm. And then the blue to neutralize. Then we have a hand looking a handful of crazy and I just take the spatula and just blend it up the best I can until I get what feels the closest to my shade. I put a little too much of the concealer today so I'm gonna add, gonna add a little more of the MAC concealer cause it's lighter to brighten it up a bit. It's a little dark, almost out. This is the best concealer ever, like I need more. And yeah, I just try to add that in there the best I can. This is gonna work for me today. Then I, just honestly use the spatula to get the foundation everywhere. I know that there's like a certain way you can use these for your makeup. Um, I don't use it for that at all. <laughs> Once I've got it everywhere, I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend. This is a little warm today. I did put way too much of that bronzy shade, but I'll show you how to fix stuff like that. It's super easy. Don't ever, don't ever start sweating over something like that. Makeup is like, can always be manipulated. You can always change and fix things and adjust and fix. Don't ever feel like you need to start over. The only time I'll start over genuinely is if I forgot like a primer or some sort of base product. Other than that, I feel like everything can be fixed. And I just get a thorough blend. Because it's a little warm, I'm just gonna take some of the blue pigment, put it on my hand, and just add that around my face, just like that. It's gonna do exactly what I need, don't worry. And then I just blend that in. It's just gonna drop a lot of that super deep warmth and give you some of your, some more neutralizing. The more you add, the more it'll neutralize. This will never just make your face blue. That's what I'm talking about. You see that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're gonna conceal in like the standard concealer spots, so. Under eye. Yeah, she's running low, but I'm gonna get every last dollop product, okay? And then I do right around here, just above my smile lines, not exactly on the smile line. For some reason, I feel like it holds it longer. Then I'm gonna add a dot of the one size concealer in medium dark. This is way too dark for me, but I paid for it, so I'm gonna get my money's worth, okay? I let it sit for maybe 10 seconds, then I blend everything out and let that sit for like 30 seconds. Now wait for the nose. I'll explain that in a minute. Next, we're gonna contour. So I like to use the Milk Sculpt Sticks, these little babies, and I use Blaze for like my base bronzing. I bronze, contour, and bronze again, it's weird. And I just like it because it has this like pointed edge. And I just kind of dab it until it blends out. That light bronzing just to give me like a baseline of what I'm gonna look like. 
Then I'm gonna take a tiny dot of that little concealer I told you about, just cause it's, it's my shade of bronzer. So I use it to bronze, tiny dot. You don't need much. I think this brush is from Elmar Cosmetics. See, see, yeah. Y'all know something about Rare Cosmetics. They, they get everywhere. I've had this concealer for over a year now and I still have so much left. That's how little of it I use. Like, like it spreads, girl. And I use that to kind of like bring the color back. So now you see my face looks a little vibrant again. And I'm gonna use the Milk Sculpt Stick Contour in, I think this is Stoked. This is Stoked. Their contours are in the gray, the dark gray. They label them so cute. And I think the bronzers are the light gray. And then I think the blushes or highlighters are white. It's somehow like that. It's really cute. So you know like what's what without really knowing. Then I take this one and this is how you're gonna build dimension. So it looks very gray, it's supposed to. Same pointed brush. This is how you give your face depth. With contouring, you're creating shadows. So you see that? Now there's like a shadow. So when I look right forward, once I drag this down, ooh, mm -hmm. contour is where you bring in depth. Bronzing is where you bring in color. When I do carpets, I go hard on the contour so I can look like this. I'm gonna add some of the e.l.f. camo concealer in white, and this is how I contour my nose. A lot of the time everyone's asking what highlighter I use, um, baby white concealer. That's the highlighter I'm using, it's white concealer. And I basically just kind of redo the way my nose already looks. I don't really feel like I make my nose look smaller. I think objectively with nose contouring, most of the time it's gonna look smaller in some capacity, but I don't really aim for the button nose effect. I kind of do, not button nose, um, the snatch nose. I kind of aim for a like more of a button nose. So like I don't really make my nose bridge look very small or anything like that. Like I kind of just let it, I do this. I kind of deer nose it. I'm gonna call this the deer nose method. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this MAC contour quad and I dip into these two. Um, you can tell I used to really like that one, but she ran out, hello? But she ran out, so I just used these two mixed together. This is how I contour my nose. I don't use this for my face simply because um, I like to save it. So I only use this for my nose. I do the bottom, the top. I'll also do like an in-depth video on my nose. I know that video is gonna do crazy in the sense that people are gonna hate it because people hate how I contour my nose, but I've made like inclusions with doing this in my videos, but it feels like people just need a one-stop shop to find how I contour my nose and I can do that. So I think I will. My nose and my eyeliner, I get a lot of questions about. That's literally it, and now my nose is done. Now we're gonna get into the powdering and we're gonna finish the concealing. Oh wait, we have blush, sorry. I got distracted. I really like using the Charlotte Tilbury blush. I think it's the the matte, me reading it in the mirror, matte beauty blush, is that what it says? Yup, wand. I think this is Dream Pop, but there's like a peach one that I really like too, but I think the most consistent look that I get requests for is the look that I use this like dragon fruit shade. So I'm gonna use this one. You twist it and then ignore the brown from my face and then you just squeeze and the product will come out here. Can you see that? Okay, see? She comes out. Woo, okay. <clears throat> Close off. My blush brush is this MAC 16 8S brush and I just dab her in. I try to keep it in this general area. I know that there's like a thing with blush location significance. Um, I don't think I know what I like on my face yet. I think I just kind of do this and wherever it ends up is uh, where it ends up. Once I've done that and I look crazy, I usually take my sponge and I start to blend out wherever's creased when I left it to dry. So like under my eyes, usually a little creased because remind you, uh, mind you, we haven't, remind you, we haven't said anything. I'm just gonna go over anything that may have creased. And before it can crease again, I love this Huda Beauty, um, these like heart shaped puffs. I'm gonna use the one size. Oh my gosh, I'm like taking too long. I'm gonna have to blend it again. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Oh, you can see me, airbrush, flawless finish in shade two. And then the turn up the base in medium five in one size. You need a compact before setting powder. You need to put that on before you put on setting powder or it's pointless. I take that, rub in there. Do the same here. Kind of, you need to like flatten it out Lay that down and I repeat the same process because I love the formula of the two of these so much. I have to put them together. Same for the under eye. Make sure you've blended before you set because once you set, it's, it's staying there. I'll just make sure I get that very evenly. I go over the nose, everything, get that everywhere. Eyelids need to make sure they're smooth. Setting powder, um, as you can tell, I really like the one size translucent powder. And I'm gonna get what I get out of there, okay? Do the same thing, you're gonna dust that off. You want a flat, even layer of, of powder when you're putting this on. Flat and even, flat and even. And I get her everywhere, eyelids. 
flat and even. Eyelid too. The forehead, I get it all. Okay, my face, I have not wiped off any powder, nothing. I'm just gonna go ahead and do define my nose a little more. I know people hate it. I know it's controversial. I don't car. I really like it. I think um, I'm, you know what? I'm not mad that people say I look like a deer anymore. You know what? Like I've embraced it. Deers are cute. I like it. I don't know. I'm sure. And people will always be like, you're in a few years. You're gonna wish you didn't do that. I'm sure that's true. Shit. <laughs> I mean, shit, I, I believe you, sister, but until then, I'ma do it, period. And this is the one size, um, couldn't tell you what that is if you paid me. I literally can't read that. Whatever that is, is what I'm using. It looks like this inside and I love her. And I use this shade to contour my nose a lot. Then for blush again, I'm gonna use this Kimchi Blush Duo. It's called BRB Blush. I like to mix the both of them together and just kind of like really get in there because it's quite the light blush, but it's very pretty. Like, look at that. That's so Barbie. That is so Barbie. While we wait for the setting powder, I leave the setting powder as long as I possibly can. I'm gonna do my eyes. I use the good old MAC Costa Riche. This is my best friend. I have like two left because I need to get more. I need to re-up. This is my number one product. I use this religiously. I use it on my eyes. I use it on my lips. This is my lip liner for every lip look ever. It doesn't matter what it is. Red lip, nude lip, pink lip. I use this first. I love this thing. Like I love this thing. This is like the perfect shade. And because it's an eye coal, it really stays on my lips. Like when I eat and stuff, it doesn't feel like it fades. Like the lipstick or whatever will fade. But my lip liner, usually she's like locked in. She's intact. Yesterday, I had on a glitter lip. I was chowing on a turkey leg. I'm walking. I'm like, <laughs> lip liner was, was locked in. Didn't move a bit. Let, 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 let that tell you something. Damn, that said it was great. Then I'm gonna, wait, what am I doing? You've, you've simply distracted me. I'm doing my eyes, I forgot. I really just do like a, like a regular generic eyeliner with it. Just get into, stop! I just give a good like standard liner. And look, I get it with eyeliner. I know eyeliner's not everyone's, you know, that's not everyone's slay. It wasn't mine for a long time. I was like obsessed with eyeliner in high school and middle school. Like I couldn't check the mail without a wing on. Like I just couldn't do it. But then something shifted when I turned like, I don't know, 21, I think. I feel like I just kind of stopped wearing it all together. It started to feel like it just looked like too much. And I was never really an eyeshadow girl. Um, If you follow me on Instagram during like 2018, I know you're like, what the hell are you talking about? I used to do like consistent makeup looks, but I meant like outside. I would not wear eyeshadow outdoors. I would wear eyeshadow to do looks. I would wear eyeshadow for a cosplay, but I would not wear eyeshadow normally. I just did not feel as though it looked normal on me. It felt, it always felt like it looked like I was overdoing it. And I didn't like that. So I just didn't wear it. And and then something shifted in like 2021 and I just have not put down the eyeliner since. Sometimes I do looks without it. I'll show you guys like one of my no eyeliner looks that I like. But a lot of the time I like eyeliner now. Like I do like her. Um, but see what I mean? You do like your base liner. Then honestly, I'm still figuring out which direction I like. I don't know if I like like a perkier wing where it's, you know, she's tapered up or if I like a more straightforward one. So honestly, I just draw whatever and try my best to replicate that on the other side. Like that. See? 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 I think that's like a straighter wing today. So yeah, we'll see if I like how that looks in an hour. I'm gonna do the other one and I'll be back. Okay, so this is with the wing. My wings feel a little off today. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're a little too neutral, but you know what we move. And after you do that, I just do a good old waterline moment, okay? This is where I feel like I start to like how I look. I do my waterline, I do the inner waterline. I know a lot of you are probably thinking this was the everyday tutorial with the white liner. I don't really wear that anymore, um, but I can do that tutorial if you guys want. But that really is not my everyday makeup anymore, but super capable of showing it if you would like. This is my everyday makeup now. Look how sultry that just made my face. Like, ooh, oh, she's cute. Oh, she's sexy, you know? Exactly. That's just, I feel like that really ties the look together. I feel like my eyes are one of my best features. So my eyes usually tell me whether I like my face or not. The liner is done. She's looking sexy. I use a total of three mascaras to be really real with you. I use this Lancome Idol mascara, the Fenty mascara, and this KVD mascara. I'm not consistent with all three. The most consistent one is probably the Lancome and the KVD, but the Fenty, they all do different things. That's the thing. I feel like this is the best, generally, best lengthening, best like thick drama. So I like to add them all together. You get me? I'm sure you do. I just had to pluck an eyelash out on this side the other day because it was the only eyelash facing the other direction and um, it was kind of driving me crazy and it was pissing me off. So she had to, she had to give her life. The cause in question was my good looks. So, you know, worth it. Like this, this one is just so good. Like she's just such a good general mascara. 
like the, the camera has a little dot on my eye, so I can't really see if you can see, but it looks good. Then I'll take the KVD to really just skyrocket them in the length category because I feel like it really does that. Like, I feel like she really just is like a pick me up. It's crazy how much I've really just fully reverted into a mascara girl because I was a mascara girl in school. I feel like all of us were mascara girls in school until one day we just put a lash on and never took it off. But I was a lash girl through and through. Um, I wore mascara for a lot of school, but then I put my lash on and I never went back. I feel like a lot of girls kind of went back and forth, back and forth. I just stuck with my damn mas my lashes and I just couldn't like tear the away from them. I just loved a lash. And it was usually like a big lash. I think I wore Ardell. I don't remember the number, but there was this one Ardell lash that I loved. Ardell and Kiss. I had lashes from both of them that I just loved. I think it was like Kiss 48 or something like that. And then Ardell some number. And I was addicted to those lashes. Like I'm not even kidding. I would buy them in bulk. If I had $2 in my pocket, I would spend them on those lashes. Then one day I upgraded to big ass lashes and I don't even remember where I bought them from. These big ass lashes and I just couldn't put them down after that and I would wear them all the time and every day. Then one day, I think I just got tired of, lashes always look flipped up on me. I don't know if you know what that means, but I don't really know how to explain it. They just always look like they're not on right. Even when I get them put on professionally, I just always feel out of my body now because I think I've really just converted into like a full mascara girl. So I think they just feel awkward too. And I don't know, I just kind of feel like out of my body with them. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, it doesn't matter. Then do the bottom, kind of don't remember. Ooh, short-term memory loss. Also used to hate bottom mascara recently. Like in school, I always do my bottom mascara, but then when I turned like 22, I was like, um, F this. And I just stopped doing it. But now I love it again. As you can see, I'm kind of a fraud when it comes to makeup. I'm very inconsistent about what I think. Now it's been mad long, but we're finally gonna wipe off this setting powder. The way I apply it though, there's barely anything to wipe off. Like usually I'm wiping off whatever really stuck to my face, but when you do that flat sheet of powder, you're not left with patches anymore. So it looks pretty like flat and even. Now we're gonna line our lips. The Mac Costa Riche, the same exact one that I just did my eyes with. And I make a new lip, sister. Okay, like a new lip. I don't have a prominent Cupid's bow. Your Cupid's bow is this part of your lip. Um, I always used to love Rihanna's because hers was just so defined. And I would always be like, wow, that's so pretty. But I have like none. I have to make one. Also don't do anything properly. Like you should take your time when you're lining your lips. You should not be doing it like this. I'm just a natural born rusher. One thing about me, I'm a rush. Even if there's nothing rushing me, there's nothing making me rush, I'm a rush. Now I have two signature lip looks. I have this like cherry cola type lip look and then I have my like classic caramel lip look. I think I'll give that to you guys in another video because I usually wear that with the white liner. So I'll save that for that video. For this video, I'm gonna show you the like cola look that I do a lot. When I show you what I use for this, you're gonna laugh. Benetint Blush and Cheek Tint, Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in Daisy, and recently, Topical Slick South. I'm gonna take the Benetint. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Or I used to use the Fenty Lip Mask. It, t t for consistency, I'll use the lip mask because that's what I used to use for this. So the Benetint, just to give us like some under, some, some under painting tint. Then, hello. I'll take my Burt's Bees. She'll give us the moisture and she'll really lock us in with the color. Then, I also heard there's like a pink, or sorry, like a purple or like a green one to this. Um, give me that. I didn't know that that existed, but anyway. Then I take, yeah, and you can see how I put her to work. I, the only complaint I have about this lip mask is how it comes out of the tube. If you don't push enough, nothing comes out, but then the second you push a little too much, it just comes out way more than you need. Hate that down, but that's okay. Mind you, this is a lip mask not lip gloss. And that's it. Now this is where you learn that I'm a crazy person because this is my setting spray routine. There are five products here. First up, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Immediately fan. Do not make any facial expressions while setting your face. You will lock in whatever the hell you crease. Next up, ABH Dewy Set. I think refreshing Mr. Setting Spray, I don't remember. Draw that shit out. One size setting spray. This girl, they all do something for me, but this, this is, she's the glue. <laughs> the glue that, oh, I can't talk. The glue that smell like paint thinner. I know that's right. She be doing her job. Last up is this Mayron barrier spray. She's not a joke. Spray to distance. <laughs> I use this shit all the time and it still gets me. Kimchi stage setting spray. 
And understand that my face doesn't move all day. Thank you. And if you're wondering if you skipped the part where I did my eyebrows, um, you didn't. I don't have any eyebrows and I don't do them. And I don't know why. I don't have a good reason anymore. Well, as to why I don't do them, I just don't. They draw too much attention maybe. And I feel like when I have none, they don't. I don't know, I honestly don't know, but. Uh, this is me every day and I have like three or four everyday glams that I rotate around with. This is just my most common one. So yeah, thanks for watching. I love you so much. Let me know if there's anything else you would like from me. If you're new, stick around and join the pookies. Bye. Like, subscribe, and comment, subscribe, and comment, 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 and comment,